Hi, I'm Troy Hunt, and I am going to be coming to 1337 to talk about InfoSec and particularly cybersecurity things as it relates to the way we build software. So my background in software is I started uh, as a web developer. I still have the first books I ever used to learn how to build for the web in 1995 on my bookshelf behind me. And then I spent many, many years building corporate software for uh, Pfizer. Uh, everyone knows who Pfizer is because they've been in the news recently rolling out vaccines. So good on them for that. And spent many years traveling around the world, running workshops at companies like 1337, doing talks everywhere from Europe, US, Congress. I went to Congress. I spoke at Congress of all places. Uh, Middle East, obviously Australia as well, not so much in Australia. So that's where I came from. And InfoSec is enormously important because security touches Everything we build these days, because pretty much everything we build, certainly everything that we build digitally, has code in it. I am speaking to a camera with code in it, on a microphone with code in it. I have code on my wrist. I have code in all these little sensors that I've got all over my house now because I've been IoTing all of my things. During my workshops and many of my talks, I talk about things like watches, like this one I'm holding in my hand here, this children's tracking watch, which runs code. And this ran vulnerable code and we put it on my daughter's wrist and strangers could see where she was and they could talk to her through the watch which is actually really kind of a phone because there's a little sim card in the back of it so code touches everything and that makes infosec especially important for people building software today and it is especially important today because today more so than even just a year ago a year and a little bit ago but we were all going into the office and working there and now this massive portion of the world is suddenly having to work remotely using services that might not be behind the corporate firewall because, hey, everyone's got to access them from everywhere. You've got all these people that never had to have a video conference before. And now, of course, their whole world is just Zoom. So they're using all of these services that run code. And that means that these services are getting more and more eyes on them, more people looking to find vulnerabilities in them. We're seeing things like phishing being enormously rampant at the moment. So now we're seeing phishing about vaccines. It's like, hey, open this executable document. Now just allow it, trust it, it will be fine, and you'll get the vaccine earlier. So we're seeing everything to do with InfoSec, whether it be code facing the world or phishing attacks or anything like this, getting more and more visibility and becoming more and more important as we move out of the office into our homes. So code now and secure design and cybersecurity is more important than what it's ever been before. So I'm going to be doing a presentation at 1337 about a whole bunch of the things that I have learned over the years working in the cybersecurity industry. Now, a lot of that comes back to the things that I've learned running Have I Been Pwned. So I've got over 500 different data breaches that I've previously investigated, verified, loaded many times, organizations that I've had to contact and talk to and say, look, I'm really sorry, but I've kind of got all your data. It wasn't me, but I've got all your data. Someone else sent it to me. You're going to have to send some very uncomfortable messages to your customers. I've learned some really interesting things out of that. I love to talk about things like this device here. This is an internet connected children's tracking watch. This had really, really serious vulnerabilities. And a couple of years ago, we put this on my daughter, a fellow security researcher and myself, uh, and we found some egregiously bad vulnerabilities. And the vulnerability was actually so simple that anyone who could count could exploit it. And I'm gonna talk about that when I do the streamed event. I'm gonna talk about a lot of other things that I have seen firsthand in the industry as well, particularly when it comes to bad security decisions. Also the way organizations handle data breaches and handle vulnerabilities because they don't always do a great job of it. And I do like to share some of those experiences that I've had. So many times when I've done conference talks before, whether they be in person or they're things that we stream online, the takeaways, the sentiment that I hear people expressing afterwards is they said, we were terrified and amused. And I was like, okay, good job. I'm happy with that. That's a good outcome. 
And I hope that when you come and see my talk, uh, okay, online, unfortunately I won't be there in person, that you take away the same things. Because I do like to provide a lot of content about just how horrific cybersecurity incidents can be, but also make it entertaining. I want people to enjoy the experience uh, and go away having learned something and had a bit of fun as well. Now we will also have a Q&A facility as well. I would love to take questions from people. Uh, in fact, whenever I do interviews or things like that, I say, look, please ask lots of questions. Don't tell me what they are in advance. <laughs> I like having the impromptu ones. So please come along, use the Q&A, ask me hard questions. See if anyone can ask me something I haven't been asked before. Uh, I always share my experiences very candidly. So come armed, watch the presentation, please ask your questions. And I would love to share with you some of the things that I have seen and learned over the years. Thank <laughs> you.